Another Forex setup for you guys today. The Australian dollar Swiss franc is looking pretty bearish. Hang around and we'll take a look at it. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Today's trade pick is a descending triangle on the Australian dollar Swiss franc. We'll look at that in just a minute, but first we've got a few active trades including a new trigger and a setup that could trigger in the next few days. And later on another brand new trading maxim. Once again, happy Monday! And remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any of these great trade setups. Let's take a look at the active trade. So the Euro New Zealand is giving us a little bit more sideways right there. I moved the stop up here to 79.16 to lock in 461 pips. And I am going to hold this right here until this consolidation breaks. Of course if it breaks the downside it will just hit our stop. So when it breaks the upside we will start following stops on this thing again. And once again, palladium still going sideways too, making this nice triangle consolidation. Getting pretty close to the point, so it's going to have to break pretty soon. Move my stop up just a bit to this 20.77.74 to lock in 85.03. And just like the Euro New Zealand, I'm going to hold on to it right here until we get a break of this consolidation. If it breaks the upside, we'll go back to following stops just like we're doing. And good old Amazon is bouncing between our entry and the range right here. Just giving us some sideways. I'm ready for this to break out to the upside. We'll see how it goes. Planet Fitness gave us this nice trigger on Friday. Just ahead of the close, I'm in it at 56.41 with my stop loss of 52.62, first target of 58.94. And lastly, here's a heads up on the Russell 2000 index. It could give us a sell trigger this week, so keep an eye on it. And that's it for the active trades. Let's take a look at today's trade pick. I thought it was about time we look at another Forex setup, and this is a pretty well-defined descending triangle that started back here in June. This of course is a daily chart of the Australian dollar Swiss franc currency pair with a descending triangle. A descending triangle consists of a strong support level like this one here at 6490 with several historical touches or approaches of the line. And a series of lower highs as fewer and fewer traders are thinking about taking this long. Each time the price gets back down to the support level it chips away at buy orders until it finally breaks through. It should break out of the pattern with strong momentum. The descending triangle is a bearish pattern and I will only take a sell signal on it. And a good consolidation pattern like this should be accompanied by a decline in volume and volatility like you see here. I measure the volatility using the average true range or ATR which shows the average length of the last 14 candles. And here's the trade plan. We're going to sell a daily candle close below the triangle. On the breaking candle, we want to see the volume bar reach up to the volume average right here. If it doesn't quite reach the average, but does reach 75% of the average, I'll take a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by dividing this volume number by this volume average, and you should get at least 0.75. If you don't get at least 0.75, I suggest you stand aside on the trade. The stop loss is one and a half times the ATR. First target is one times the ATR. So that means that when this thing breaks, just ahead of the close, say 15 minutes or so, you'll take your sell order, look down here at the ATR, multiply this by one and a half, and measure that distance above your entry for your stop loss. Measure one ATR below your entry for your first target. If after entering the trade 
we get a candle that closes back inside the triangle we'll take a loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss our intention is that a breakout of the pattern should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly if the momentum goes away we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible when the price hits our first target we'll close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder we'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out these two rules are the very definition of cutting your losses and letting your winners run typically I do this using two positions the first position has a stop loss and a take profit that position will close automatically when the first target is hit the second position will only have a stop loss and that's the position that will be allowed to run when the first target is hit we'll have to manually move our stop loss up to break even on the second position I will only risk about two percent of my account on each trade and that's today's setup on the Australian dollar Swiss franc remember my intent here is to tell you how I manage these trades if you've got a good trade management plan use it things that work for me may not work for you you have to understand your own mind to find the best strategies for your trading and speaking of understanding your own mind that's my intent for the trading maxims the maxims help me control my emotional impulses and keep me on the straight and narrow path a maxim is a general truth fundamental principle rule of conduct or a proverbial saying the purpose of my maxims is to motivate me to discipline in trading as well as other areas of my life I suggest you start your own list of maxims things that you can say to yourself while you're trading or doing life to make sure that you always do the right thing feel free to borrow from my list and today another brand new maxim of the day Tim's trading maxim number 83 you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one you know it's time to stop beating yourself up for your perceived failures it's not a failure until you give up and if you're watching this video I dare say you haven't given up yet just remember that reviewing your past failures is important to ensure that you improve on them but dwelling on them is definitely not productive start living your new chapter and stop rereading the old ones and remember our Australian dollar Swiss franc trade plan for today we're gonna sell a daily candle close below the triangle if the volume is not quite average go half size as long as it's at least 75 percent of the average your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR and your first target is one times the ATR and remember to click the link below to the trade management video for more details also don't forget to sign up for my free trading picks email list to be sure you don't miss any of these great picks I post about two or three trading picks a week from all different markets and you'll get to see them first best thing is it's free I'll put the link below this video a couple of weeks ago you may remember I told you about a new service from trading strategy guides called dream trades dream trades is an app that's available for both mobile and desktop platforms as I mentioned I attended the webinar and was totally blown away by the trade setups so starting Wednesday of this week I'll be sharing a dream trade setup with you guys each week so you can see how successful these setups can be don't miss this new feature on Wednesdays and be sure to come back to trading strategy guides YouTube channel every week on Monday Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. US Eastern Time for my new videos don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have I'll either answer your question right in the comments or in a training video or both and remember the only stupid question is the unasked one don't miss the next installment of the trading education series on Wednesday when we'll continue our discussion of the MetaTrader trading platform. And don't forget, I'll be doing a dream trade setup at that time as well. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have a fun week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.